one kilowatt hour of electrical energy is the same as so actually your one kilowatt hour which is also equal to one unit of electricity and that is equal to 3.6 times 10 to the power 6 joule so is there any way to that is equal to 3.6 times 10 to the power 6 okay all powers are in 5 so that will be equal to 3 6 times 10 to the power 5 joule because now the point is point come over here so the power will become 5 so 3.6 times 10 to the power 5 what is the correct answer okay next mc goes is an electric current of 5 ampere is same as so as i already discussed that the current is equal to charge per unit time so 5 ampere current is equal to 5 coulomb per second so option c is the correct answer 5 coulomb per second okay next mc goes is an electron of mass m kg and having a charge of e coulomb travel from rest through a potential difference of v volts its, its kinetic energy will be electron volt joule mass electron volt joule mass electron per volt joule volt per unit mass electron joules so the correct option is electron volt joule uh, joules because uh, the kinetic energy is equal to 1 by 2 mv square and that is equal to the electron volt so actually uh, let's say this is your vacuum too okay and you want to generate the x-rays so this will be your cathode and this will be your anode and this is the bandle from where you get the output or you can say that from where you get the x-rays so this will be the negative terminal that is the cathode and this will be a node that is the positive terminal so this voltage is this one supply voltage and e is the charge on electron so electron will start flowing over here So this electron will move toward the anode and the velocity of this electron is this V square and M is the mass of this electron. So the velocity of this electron depends on the supply voltage. So if you increase the supply voltage, then the speed of electron moving toward the anode will be high. So it will hardly collide with the anode and and in response we get a high energetic x rays so here we get x rays okay so the correct option is option a that is the electron mode zone okay next mc goes is the value of the following is given by 100 kilo amperes times micro amperes divided by 100 milli amperes times 10 ampere. So option A is 0 0.001 ampere, 0 0.1 ampere, 1 ampere, 10 ampere. So actually, uh, this is 100 times kilo. So kilo, we have three zeros. Then in micro, that is 10 to the power minus 6 divided by 100 times midi that is 10 to the power minus 3 times 10 ampere so this will be in scientific notation this is in the standard notation now we need to convert it into a scientific notation so these will be equal to 10 to the power 1 2 3 4 5 times 10 to the power minus 6 divided by 10 to the power 1 2 3 times 10 to the power minus 3 so in multiplication the power should be added so 5 minus 6 is minus 1 divided by 10 minus 3 is 10 to the power 0 that is equal to 1 so this will be 1 divided by 10 that is equal to 0 0.1 so option B is the correct answer that is 0.1 ampere.
Okay, next MCQs is a circuit contains two unequal resistance in parallel. Unequal resistance in parallel. So this is resistance R1, this is resistance R2. Current is same in both, no. Voltage is same, but current is not same in both. Large current flow in large resistance, no. Small current will flow in large resistance because current have an inverse relation with voltage. As these are in parallel, so voltage is same. So current will have an inverse relation with resistance. Potential difference across each is same. Smaller resistance have smaller conductance, no. Smaller resistance have large conductance because the current will be high and conductance is the inverse of resistance. So smaller resistance have large conductance or large resistance have smaller conductance. So option C is the correct answer. Okay, next MCQ is, conductance is expressed in terms of ohm per meter, meter per ohm, mo per meter, mo. So actually your conductance is the inverse of resistance. So your unit of resistance is ohm. So that's when we go to ohm or ohm or you can say that that is equal to mo. So option D is the correct answer. Okay, next MCQ is which of the following could be the value of resistivity of copper? Option A is 1.7 times 10 to the power minus 8 ohm centimeter. Option B is 1.7 times 10 to the power minus 6 ohm centimeter. Option C is 1.6 times 10 to the power minus 5 ohm centimeter. Option D is 1.7 times 10 to the power minus 4, 4 ohm centimeter. So the correct option is option B that is 1.7 times 10 to the power minus 6 ohm centimeter. Okay, next MC goes is a copper wire of length L and diameter D has potential difference V applied at its two end. The drift velocity is VD. If the diameter of wire is made D by 3, then the drift velocity becomes so the as we know that the current is equal to vd you know, and a but here voltage potential difference is given to me so that's will be good i will be equal to v divided by r and that is equal to vd you know, and a so my v will be equal to vd so n a times r and r is also equal to rho l by a l is the length a is the area so v will be drift velocity so n a times r r is the rho l divided by a so this a will cut out by this a so your drift velocity will be equal to voltage divided by rho n rho l. So your drift velocity not depend on the area. So it will be same as it is. So option D is the correct answer. Okay, next MC goes is two resistance R1 and R2 give combined resistance of 4.5 ohm when in series. So in series that will be equal to R1 plus R2 and that is equal to 4.5 ohm and 1 ohm when in parallel. So when in parallel this will be 1 by R1 divided by 1 by R2 and that is equal to 1 ohm. So that will also be equal to R1 plus R2 divided by R1, R2. So uh, is there any option that satisfy both equation? Equation one and equation two. So three plus six, that is equal to nine. So that is not equal to 4.5 ohm. 
3 plus 9 is equal to 12. So that is also not satisfying this first equation. 1.5 ohm plus 3 ohm, that is 4.5. So that satisfies your first equation. Now let's check the second equation. So that will be 1.5 plus 3 divided by 4.5. So that is equal to 1 divided by R equivalent. So your R is 1 ohm. So is this satisfy the distribution? So uh, 4.5 is equal to 4.5. Yes, yeah, so option C satisfy this equation. But let's check option D. Is that satisfy this equation? So option D does not satisfy the first equation that is equal to 2 ohm that is not equal to 4.5 ohm. So option C is the correct answer. Okay, next MCQ is we have three resistance of value 2 ohm, 3 ohm, and 6 ohm. Which of the following combination will give an effective resistance of 4 ohm? All the three resistance in parallel. 2 ohm resistance in series with parallel combination of 3 ohm and 6 ohm resistance. 3 ohm resistance in series with parallel combination of 2 ohm and 6 ohm resistance. 6 ohm resistance in series with parallel combination of 2 ohm and 3 ohm resistance. So uh, my R equivalent must be equal to 4. So I need to find this relation. So all the three resistance in parallel. So if all three resistance are in parallel, then the relation will be like 2 times 3 times 6 divided by 2 times 3 plus 3 times 6 plus 6 times 2. So that is equal to 3 times 2 is 6. 6 times 6 is 36 divided by 3 to the 6 plus 18 plus 12. So that is equal to 36 divided by 36. So that is equal to 1 ohm. So equivalent resistance is 1 ohm. And that is not equal to ohm. Okay, next option. 2 ohm resistance in series with the parallel combination of 3 ohm and 6 ohm. So that is 3 times 6 divided by 3 plus 6. So 2 plus 3 times 6 is 18 divided by 9. So that is equal to 2 plus 2. That is equal to 4 ohm. And that satisfy the above relation. So option B is the correct answer. Let's also check the other option. So 3 ohm resistance in series. So that will be 3 plus parallel combination of 2 and 6 resistance. So that will be equal to 3 plus 12 divided by 8. And that is equal to 3 plus That is equal to 1.5. So 3 plus 1.5, that is equal to 4.5 ohm. And that is not equal to 4 ohm. Okay, let's check the last 6 ohm resistance in series with parallel combination of 2 and 3. So that is 6 plus 6 divided by 5, and that is 6 plus 1, 2. And that is 7.2 ohm. Okay, so this is the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Allah Hafiz.